Well, the state of Washington thinks they're doing a pretty good job getting vaccines into arms, but there are problems. A lot of people who are at risk, who need the vaccine, haven't yet gotten it, and they want to make sure they can get into places like the vaccine center here at Lumen Field before the doors are open wide to everyone in the state. Is it perfect? Uh, have we have we gotten out of every issue? Have we tackled every issue? Absolutely not. And this is going to continue to be like this. And here's the breaking news. It's going to be like this for the next several months. Nobody says it's going to be easy. In a little over five weeks, Washington plans to open up vaccinations to everyone. But there's more work to do. Yes, the State Department of Health says we should hit three million residents with at least one shot in the next few days. But while over half of those most vulnerable, those over 65, have a shot, some 40 percent have not. The Mayor Shaw is the Secretary of Health. We believe that right now we're making uh, progress in uh, vaccinating, but also doing so with, with an eye towards demand. And the reason that we had uh, put certain populations uh, first was because of our concern about their risk. And vaccine supply is still a bit shaky. Michelle Roberts leads vaccine distribution. For our allocation for next week, that we are going over 400,000 doses for the first time. But then, as I said, our next two weeks, the allocations are dropping down again to around 350, 360,000 doses. By the end of this week, 3 million Washingtonians will have received at least one dose of vaccine. Out of Washington's population of nearly 8 million, 1.7 million are kids and teens under the age of 16. That leaves about another 3 million adults and older teens to go. Next week, vaccinations open up to more groups, namely 60 to 65 year olds. Why not just go like other states have already and throw things open? What we do want to do is make sure that we don't get in a situation that we, we open up prematurely and then we have more people that are eligible, but then guess what happens? They're all fighting to get vaccine. And then ultimately those who we are concerned about uh, being most at risk uh, aren't able to get vaccine. Now, last week, the state said that they thought they were going to start to see 600,000 doses a week once we get a little further into uh, April, several weeks out. Didn't hear much about that today, but did hear quite a bit about the inconsistency in the amount of single dose Johnson and Johnson doses. They're getting 60,000 of those this week, and then it basically goes down to practically nothing. And they really want those doses because that single dose is good in a lot of situations, especially or it is difficult to get people back in for a second dose like you'd need for the Pfizer or the Moderna shots. Live in Seattle, Glenn Farley, King 5 News.